Lucas Media. So I just got through watching Manny Pacquiao versus Rukia in a three-round exhibition in Japan. My bad. I didn't know I got late late to it, but I was able to watch it this morning. And I'm going to be honest, man. They was going back and forth. It looked like Manny was almost out of there. It's about time for Manny to hang it up. It really is. I, I, I've i said this previously. I don't want to see our icons fighting in their mid-40s in boxing. You, re you really don't want to see it in any other sport, but you can give a one-off like a LeBron in basketball. They're not getting hit in their head every three, four seconds. Manny, you know, Manny was looking, he he looked up, he looked old out there. He, he did. And it looked like he was almost out on his feet, but Ampo didn't knock him out. It was difficult for me to watch. Like, I almost turned it off. I almost turned it off this morning, but I... I, I I, I don't know. I don't know why these fighters are fighting They're, as far as like Manny and Floyd. Now, some people say that they got money and they fighting for the love of the sport. But historically, what fighter did you know kept fighting because they loved it? Yeah, these fighters, they love boxing. That's all a lot of them know. But when you all these fighters kept fighting because they ran out of funds, you know, unfortunately, Joe Lewis and Ali kept fighting and the Mike Tysons and the Evander Holyfields. But many men. You need to retire, bro, for real. You Anumpo, you don't need him on your record. I mean, you fought Barrera and Mark Marquez and the Eric Morales trilogy and De La Hoya and Ricky Haddon and Miguel Cotto and Antonio Margarito and the Tim Bradley trilogy, the biggest payday with Floyd. And when you beat Keith Thurman, which shocked a lot of people, when you was 40 years old, man, you, you don't need to fight no more, man. Hang it up, man. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it real over here, man. I, I'm sorry. I, this is hard to watch. It's hard to watch as a fan. It's hard to watch as a fan when you've seen this guy, you know, in his prime versus now when he, there's nothing. This fighter, man, this kickboxer, he got more fame out of this than you did, you know, even, even though we know prime for prime, Manny would have destroyed this dude in three seconds now. Well, now he's gonna be known as. The, oh man, he fought Manny Pacquiao, man. He could have knocked him out. You know, now he's gonna be a legend over there in his country. But you know, shout out to him. You know, he hey, but still, this is I don't want to see it no more. I don't want to see it. I really hope that he does some soul searching and retires. You know, even with Floyd with his fight coming up, man. I don't want to see this, man. Let the it's Devin Haney and Tank Davis and this day turn. The Shakur Stevensons. This day turn, man. This day time. Y'all had y'all time. The same pain I felt watching the Ali fights is how I felt watching this fight. I don't think I'm going to be able to watch this fight again. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. And tell me what y'all think.